Hello, within this part we will focus on changing priorities from the user code. We can continue from exercise from previous lab. Just to those of you who started with us just now, we are using stm 32 cube IDE with Nucleo L476RG board, but uh, you can select the different stm 32 based uh, hardware. I would just open the exercise I used in the previous part, but I would comment it such a way so you can you can create it on your side. So let's start from Cubemix perspective, so the configuration of the pinouts. This is our STM32L476RG. You can see already some pins visible here. Those would be visible if you select the system core, sys, and then uh, within this, please select within the debug trace asynchronous SW. It will give you both uh, SWD interf uh, lines and uh, one additional line single wire output, which is used uh, for a single wire trace. Then I have changed as well the time base source from default SysTick to timer 6. This time base is used by the HAL library and uh, to organize the timeouts and delays. And the uh, timer 6 is my chosen timer because it uh, do not have any input nor output channels. So this is why I selected this one. Mm, there are no other peripherals used here. There is a default clock configuration. So the MSI 4 MHz as a system clock without any PLL. And additionally, within middlewares, I have enabled a freer TOS in version uh, using CMC's version 2. Uh, from this, uh, what I need to do now, I need to enable uh, functions uh, which allow me to modify the priorities. Those are VTask priority set. Uh, this is the name of the function within FreeRTOS API. It is enabled, so it will be included into the FreeRTOS code. And UX uh, task priority get function, which allows us to, to check what is the priority level of the task. It is enabled again, so uh, we can continue with our coding. Uh, so let's have a look on the tasks and queues. In my example, I got already two tasks, uh, task one and task two. Task one has higher priority uh, than task, task two. The difference is two between those two. What I will do now, I will just increase the stack size just to be in line with our uh, slides. So I double click on a task one and I change 128 uh, to 256 uh, words. I keep the entry function start task one and the same I will do with uh, task two. So 256 and uh, yes, one moment. 256. Okay, we've got uh, two tasks. In case uh, you need to create one, uh, you can use this add button and then in this case you can add a new task. So this is our target set of tasks. Uh, we do not need any other components, so this is the time to generate the project. For this I would use this uh, device configuration tool generator. So I just click on it and it will take some time and we can analyze briefly main.c file within our project. Coming below, we can see both. Oh, this is our main.c file. Below, within the private variables section, I can see both tasks uh, definitions. So task one has OS priority normal two and the task two OS priority normal. We can briefly have a look at uh, what is the numeric number. So OS priority normal two is 26 while priority normal is 24. Uh, the stack size given in words is 256 in both cases, uh, so in bytes it will be uh, one kilobyte. Then we've got um, to, let's say, the main function, and within this uh, we've got the hardware initialization, and then below there is a creation of both tasks. Then after uh, we are starting the scheduler. And then after this, uh, we are just executing code uh, from both tasks, task one and task two. If we go below within our tasks uh, function bodies, we need to modify the code. Uh, what we would like to do is to increase the priority of task two within function body of task one. Uh, it will be increased uh, by one within each iteration. And uh, uh, within task two, which has lower priority at the beginning, we will decrease the priority by two. 
so we will start with task one which has uh, let's say higher priority so at the beginning we need to declare the os peer priority underscore t value which would hold the priority uh, level of our task two uh, so the first thing is to priority equal os thread get priority control space yes and uh, task to handle yeah then the second operation would be sign of life of our task one so we will use task action with one as an argument uh, just to let you know in our example we are using this task action the simple function without an return value which is sending uh, via itm instrumentation trace macro cell two, two characters the first one is a message we just passed so in our case it would be one and then the sign of new line so we should receive uh, line by line messages from both tasks so this is our sign of life and then we will modify the um, priority of our task two so os Threat set priorities control space set priority again handler two and the priority we will use this variable and we will increase it by one and the end uh, uh, we will keep our task busy using hal delay not os delay uh, due to the fact that uh, if we use uh, hal delay for one second it would mean that we will keep our task busy for one second being in a run state it is a task with a higher priority so it will be always selected by the scheduler till the moment the task 2 uh, will have the equal priority than than ours if we would use os delay instead we would send our task to blocked state and in this case task 2 will be executed it would be selected by the scheduler for execution and it will be quite hard for us to check when we've got the situation when both tasks had have, have the same priority this is why we selected here hal delay which is not uh, the best practice uh, in the coding to be honest uh, there is one missing point here as well it is a return value of this function just to be sure whether the function has been executed correctly or not this uh, function is uh, returning os status underscore t value which informs us whether execution was correct or not any negative value which is uh, returning by this function means that uh, it was not successful and uh, we should uh, have a look what is the reason in this case uh, we will simplify it we will try to focus on it uh, let's say further exercises but it is it is good to remember let's uh, continue with task to execution so here we will in fact we will uh, modify as well the priority of this particular task so task 2 so we need again this os priority underscore t value as well it is local one so we can name it the same way and then within the function body before we will uh, let's say send something over SWO we will read our priority so priority uh, equal to OS thread get priority control space it's very nice feature and here we've got two in fact we can select uh, one of two handlers uh, handler to task one or task two if you would use uh, similar function uh, with a free rtos api it would be enough to use here null value and for those of you who are used to let's say use null argument within um, let's say functions once you're operating on the task directly there is a bad uh, surprise bad news uh, within cmc's os uh, null argument is not valid anymore uh, so once uh, you would use null here instead of uh, the direct handler name uh, you would land into you would let's say receive the negative value out of this so os argument error let's uh, try to open it this function is within cmc's os functionality so let's, uh, let's have a look cmc's os.c file 
and please have a look. Once uh, the handler is null, we are coming back from this uh, function with OS priority error, which is minus one. So we need to specify really the, the handler. This is why I would use the handler over here and it will be stored within this priority uh, variable. Then uh, I would give the sign of life and after this uh, I would modify the priority. So OS thread set the priority, priority set, handler two and priority. In this case we would decrease it by two. Okay. And uh, after this, uh, we will not use any delay because it makes no sense. OK, that's all for the code modification. Let's compile it. OK, there are no errors, no warnings, so we can start a debug session. OK, let's continue with a debug session. So I click on this bug icon. My board is already connected. OK, before I will start an application, I will open the SWV ITM data console. In case uh, you are starting with us at uh, this moment, uh, you can find this console using this search. So SWV, this is this one, SWV ITM data console. Once it is uh, selected, you should see below on the screen. Uh, to configure it, press uh, this uh, button select uh, port 0 and then just start tracing. After this you can run an application. So I start it and I can see it is working as expected. I would pause for a moment and I try to comment it. Uh, so please have a look. Task 1, as it has higher priority than task 2, is executing and it's uh, within its uh, function body it is increasing the priority of task 2 by 1. So we can see two executions of task one, and then there is a situation where both tasks have the same priority. So task two is executing once, it is decreasing its own priority by two. So again, it is giving the space for task one only. So we can see two executions of task one, which increases the priority of task two again to the same level, and then task two can execute once, and the situation repeats. So it is according to our expectations. I'm terminating the debug session and we can continue with next parts. Uh, thank you for your attention.